Yoshi. I'm Tim Hickey. Like Yoshi, how do I get this back, back on? Hey? How do I get it back on? I don't know where you're at. Just forget it. No. And tonight on 60 Minutes. Tonight on 60 <laughs> We get to look back on some of the highs and the lows of our U12's time at Trinity with our reporter O'Shea who ran away. And also get an inside look with our wildlife reporter Caleb Oldenborough to see what makes Trinity such an exquisite place. But first up on tonight's episode, Outback Yoshi joins us to take us through the graduating class of Year 12 at Trinity Catholic College Lismore. These students have completed six years of vigorous education with many, many wonderful moments. G'day, I'm Yoshi. During the week this week, I caught up with the 2017 graduates of 2017 to ask them what their favourite Trinity moment was. Oh, I was probably back in year seven when Lily face planted down the stairs in front of our whole class and flashed everyone in a dress went over her head. <laughs> it was in year nine wood tech when Joel and I put wax all over the floors and everyone was ice skating on the yeah. I don't actually have a favourite Trinity moment, <laughs> but my least favourite moment is... They're my friends. <laughs> favourite Trinity moment? Oh, favourite Trinity moment for me is probably got to be Year 7. Miss Gillandry's copped a handball to the face. I mean, we've got to apologise to her. I mean, obviously, it's pretty yeah, dramatic. Say, say sorry. And, um, She's probably in the crowd somewhere. Sorry. Also, apologise to all the kids out there that can no longer use proper handball. Favourite Trinity moment, real quick. Um, that time I asked Nevin what tutor present she wanted, and she looked up Dan Murphy's in the middle of religion. <laughs> What did she look at? Oh, there's some Moscato in there. <laughs> you know, I got it for you, Miss. Don't worry. It's that time in assembly when Mrs. Nash accidentally strokes Gulliver's thigh. Oh, definitely when we sold Jack Murray's car on a gum tree and got. <laughs> 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 we got um, 15, 15 uh, inquiries within about the first half an hour. Okay, so what's your favourite Trinity moment? Um, it would have been when uh, you lost your pants at PA camp. Um, yeah, and we were too big, so I had to walk around the whole day without any pants on. It wasn't funny. <laughs> it was. It was. It was funny. And my favourite Trinity moment was when Tim and Caleb kissed that one time in English. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite moment was back in year 10 science when I blew up a beaker and a cop went past Harry Scott's face and then ended up getting in trouble for it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Alright, so we're here with Noel Wogan today. Noel Wogan, what's your favourite shooting moment? Um, my favourite shooting moment probably been months of his current front of my house and uh, probably been Nevin's favourite student because, you know, practically top in English and she's a fucking genius. Tom and Gabe were playing What's the Odds and it was for someone to drink a whole bottle of spit and then Tom lost so he spent all sport passing it around to everyone and we got like 30 people to spit in this thing over an hour and then Tom had to drink this much spit and yeah, it sucked. <laughs> that is going. Uh, on immersion when Nicola got attacked by a dingo and jumped into a French tourist probably back in year nine when Charles tried to jump the wire fence and his leg went straight between the two wires and well there'd be a couple more hundred cracks in the ground now so you know. The time when Gabby got part of her headphones stuck in her ear in SOR. <laughs> and I had to go down to the emergency room. Our favourite memory of Trinity was when Eloise got the like Cyclone tube that went wild. And um, from Darcy's 
Betty winning. And we were coming down the bit the and we come up the top and we hit a bump and Eloise just falls straight out. And then <laughs> Catherine and I had to grab her and pull her back in. And, and I was um, just there laughing my head off. <laughs> when in year 11, Mr. Pollack's class, when his phone rang and it's a cat noise. And Kate yells out, there's a cat in the wall, screaming and everyone cracked up laughing. So, Joe was bet had a dare to um, wear a mankini through McDonald's drive through <laughs> And as he was uh, preparing to put it on, Mr. Googles walked up on him, and uh, that was a funny moment. Jacob Roberts, uh, he a bit of an average driver. My name's Jacob Roberts, I'm 17 and I've got a driving problem. And we'll be back after this short ad break. Tonight on Trin TV. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Shut up! <laughs> Another day where crime doesn't pay. I need to bag those cats, boys. Oh no, it's the fire! Oh my god. TCCFBD. 7.30 Saturday. Are you tired of your drab, regular school uniform? Do you want to be unique? Are you waiting for the new innovations in school uniform style? Well, the wait is over. We are bringing you hot, new summer uniform trends for the new school season. Say goodbye to hot, sweaty tablecloths by adding ventilation tears for airflow. Boom, fix your dress. Do you want to show your knees to the world? Just go for it. Is your regular school jumper just not cool anymore? Try wearing any jumper at all. Look hot for the new term. Disclaimer. Any of these trims can and will earn you a detention. Authorised by Australian government camera batteries will be included. Is it you? Is it me? Is it us? Is it me? Is it you? Is it me? Is it us? Is it Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. Hi, my name's Monroe. Uh, you've probably already noticed that I have incredibly blue eyes. Perhaps even a, a nice bath with some champagne and candles. And just sugar and spice and all those things that are nice. Hi, my name's Mike, and if you're sitting there watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the fast forward button, because I don't smoke and I don't like people who do smoke. children always late for school? Do they park in front of the bins on Jubilee Street? Is their avocado toast addiction proving to be a financial strain? How good was that avocado toast? Oh my god. It sounds like you need Mrs. Davies. Proven to get results, she'll turn your lazy, sluggish and unconcerned teen into a studious and mindful young adult. Molly Pierce. Sophia McFadden. Disappointed! <laughs> they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. Call in the next 10 minutes and we will throw in, at no extra cost, a pair of black, conventional, leather, lace-up school shoes. Authorised by Trinity Catholic College Government, Lismore. Maranatha. Good word indeed. And welcome back to 60 Minutes. Back from the Pacific Islands, a man with more experience than a man with heaps of experience. Our wildlife expert, Caleb Oldenbrough joins us exclusively from SMS. In the vastness of the Rainbow region lies a place unlike any other. Enchanted rock and earth islands that are home to a spectacular array of plants and animals. 
Here, evolution is proceeding with spectacular speed, and it is in one particular subspecies that we see something truly amazing. Beach bums that swim in the ocean and spit salt from their noses. Forty boys thousands of miles from their original home in the swamps of Carson. There's also an abundance of unique plants at the college, as well as animals that are small, and some that are visible from outer space. This truly is a place of wonders. SMS. So behind me now are a pair of hippopotamuses bathing in the warm billabong. It's quite extraordinary. In a lifetime spent making natural history films, I, Caleb Audenborough, have been to many spectacular places, but none more extraordinary than here. The glorious huts. Ah yes, the hunting plains, where the more advanced forms of life are classified under the genome. And in 12, often they come here to hunt the lower, less advanced species. This truly is a place of wonders. Leading scientists have named this place the canteen. But none are brave enough to stay in fear of the most vicious predator the globe has ever seen. This primitive creature is known for her intimidating stature and bellowing voice. Known to most as the infamous Mrs. Davies. Like every living species, in order to survive the changing environment, one must learn to evolve and adapt. That is why for this extraordinary breed of U-12s, they will be departing in true style.